Hey guys, it's Chris from Highline Guitars, and this week's quick tip for luthiers is about selecting wood for a guitar build. Now, when people select wood for a guitar, uh, typically luthiers and guitarists alike will focus on the wood's reputation for tone and sustain, which is a good thing. But there are a couple of other issues which you should be concerned about. There are basically three other factors which you should consider when selecting wood for your guitar. One is the Jenka hardness of the wood, another is the modulus of elasticity, and then the third is the weight of the wood. Now I know what you're, you're probably thinking, you're probably thinking the what, the what, and the what? So let me try to explain those each individually. Okay, the Jenka hardness of a wood is obviously how hard the surface of the wood is. And this is usually measured by doing the Jenka hardness test. And what they do is they take a slab of wood, they put a steel ball bearing onto the surface of the wood, and then they press it into half of its diameter. And the amount of downward force measured in pounds is the Jenka hardness. So for example, a piece of East Indian rosewood typically has a Jenka hardness of about 2,440 pounds of force to push that uh, ball bearing halfway into the wood. Uh, a piece of um, Gabin ebony has a hardness of about 3,000 pounds of downward force. Now in contrast to that, a slab of, of Honduran mahogany has a Jenka hardness of about 850, so it's much softer than those other woods. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important when we start to look at the type of woods that we want to use for fretboards, because a fretboard needs to be able to hold the fret wire firmly seated into the wood. And the softer the wood, the more likely the barbs on the tangs will uh, eventually fail to dig into the wood and the frets will start to rise up out of the wood. So you want to use a wood that has a Jenka hardness that's hard enough to really firmly uh, pinch and grip those uh, barbs in the tang so that they don't eventually start to, to pop out of the fret slots. And typically what I look for is a Jenka hardness of over 1,800 pounds. Um, Hard maple, for example, is around 1,500 pounds, so it's roughly half that of gab and ebony. Now, it'll still do the job, although I like to just kind of help it along a little by adding a little bit of CA glue to the tang so that it remains firmly seated. Uh, Janka hardness isn't necessarily an important uh, uh, factor when selecting the wood for a neck shaft, but it could be important when selecting the wood for a body of a guitar because the harder the surface of the wood is, the less susceptible to dents and dings that you're going to have. Now this brings in one of the other factors, and that's the weight. You'll notice that as the Jenka hardness of wood increases, the weight of the wood increases. So if you're building a guitar and you think, now I don't know if I want to use Honduran mahogany because it is kind of soft and it's going to dent and ding a little bit more easily, maybe I'll use some Babinga instead because that stuff's super hard. Well, sure, you can do that, but you're going to wind up with a guitar that's extremely heavy. So unless you chamber that wood, you have to consider not only the hardness of the wood, but the weight that it's going to uh, add to the, to the overall uh, weight of your guitar. Now, the other uh, factor that I mentioned was modulus of elasticity, and that really plays a role when selecting wood for your guitar neck. And um, the way this is measured is the amount of force per square inch necessary to bend a piece of wood. Uh, for example, maple, hard maple, has a modulus of elasticity of about 1,800,000 pounds per square inch. Uh, mahogany, on the other hand, Honduran mahogany, has a modulus of elasticity that's about 1,400,000 pounds, so about 400,000 pounds less. And um, what I usually try to shoot for is a modulus of elasticity that's equal to or greater than 1,500,000 pounds. Now, mahogany is still a very popular wood to use for a neck, even though it's not as stiff as, say, maple or even rosewood or, um, you know, babinga, 
wengi, any of those species of wood. However, when you take a, you know, usually when they measure that modulus elasticity, it's done on a board that is flat sawn. If you take that same piece of wood and turn it on its side so that it's quarter sawn, that wood has greater um, modulus of elasticity and isn't going to be as susceptible to bending. So typically when you are making a guitar with a, um, a neck wood that is below 1,500,000 pounds per square inch of, of modulus of elasticity, uh, you're going to want to use quarter sawn wood to make sure that the, the, the wood is going to be less susceptible to um, bending. And again, you can tie modulus of elasticity to some degree to the weight of the wood. So the higher that number is, typically the heavier the wood. So if you're thinking, well, I'm just going to make my necks out of um, Brazilian rosewood, which has like uh, a modulus of elasticity of about 2 million pounds, that's fine, but you're going to have a really heavy neck. So, you know, you need to consider those things. So in uh, closing, the this week's quick tip is when you're selecting wood for your guitar, don't just think about the tone and the sustain that that wood's going to offer, but also consider the uh, Janka hardness, the modulus of elasticity, and then the weight. And in the end, uh, I think you'll be happier with um, the results that you get with the guitar that you build. So until next week, take care, and we'll see you soon.